False witnesses have stood up against me and my enemies threaten violence. Lord, do not surrender me into their power. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning and welcome to our service on this, the second uh, the second day of Holy Week, or the third day if you're thinking of it, it it's in Sunday, so the Tuesday of Holy Week, uh, as we continue to make our way towards the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Christ carried himself up to our sin, up, uh, carried up our sins in his body to the tree, so that free from sins we might live for righteousness, and by his wounds we have been healed. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So let us pray. Father, may we receive your forgiveness and mercy as we celebrate the passion and death of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Islands, listen to me. Pay attention, remotest people. The Lord called me before I was born. From my mother's womb he pronounced my name. He made my mouth a sharp sword and hid me in the shadow of his hand. He made me into a sharpened arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant Israel in whom I shall be glorified. While I was thinking, I have toiled in vain. I have exhausted myself for nothing. And all the while my cause was with the Lord, my reward with my God. I was honoured in the eyes of the Lord, my God was my strength. And now the Lord has spoken, he who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, to gather Israel to him. Is it not enough for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel? I will make you the light of the nations, so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, my lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your help. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me and save me. My lips will tell of your help. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. My lips will tell of your help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth. From my mother's womb you have been my help. My lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help, though I can never tell it all. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonders still. My lips will tell of your help. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Hail to you, O King. Obedient to the Father, you were led to your crucifixion, as a meek lamb is led to the slaughter. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. While at supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, I tell you most solemnly, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, wondering what he meant. The disciple that Jesus loved was reclining next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed to him and said, Ask, who is it he means? So leaning back on Jesus' breast, he said, Who is it, Lord? It is the one, replied Jesus to whom I give the piece of bread that I shall dip in the dish. He dipped the piece of bread and gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. At that instant, after Judas had taken the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus then said, What you are going to do, do quickly. 
None of the others at the table understood the reason he said this, since Judas had charge of the common fund. Some of them thought Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the piece of bread, he went out. Night had fallen. When, Jesus had, when he had gone, Jesus said, Now has the Son of Man been glorified, and in him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in him, God will in turn glorify him in himself, and will glorify him very soon. My little children, I shall not be with you much longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow me now. You will follow me later. Peter said to him, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me, answered Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, for the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. This is the gospel of the Lord. Let us declare our faith in God, as we say together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us pray. God through Christ has given us a covenant to the people to heal and liberate through prayer and work. We gather the concerns of the church and the world and hold them in our hearts before our Creator and Redeemer. Standing at the foot of the cross we pray for the church as we journey through Holy Week. We remember the persecuted Christians. We ask for peace in the Holy Land. Lord, in your mercy. Standing at the foot of the cross, we pray for an end to the war in Ukraine and the wasting of life, communities and homes. As we pray for peace between Russia and Ukraine, we also remember the people of Syria, Lebanon, Ethiopia, Somalia, Sudan and all places of conflict and suffering. May Jesus, the Prince of Peace, bring peace to our troubled world. Lord, in your mercy. Standing at the foot of the cross, we pray for those who are sick or under stress, particularly for Margaret, for June, for Joseph, for Harry, for baby Lee, for Matthew, for Helena, for Pauline, for Bruff, for Phil, for Robert, for Bill, for Jackie and Anne. Bring healing to all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Lord, in your mercy. Standing at the foot of the cross, we pray for the recently departed, for Jennifer, David, Scott, Sydney, Des, John, Dale, Audrey and Debbie, asking comfort for those who mourn. Lord, in your mercy. Gracious God, the hope of all in need, pour your spirit upon us, that we may be instruments of your justice and compassion, a light to the nations and a living promise of your new heaven and new earth. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. Peace of the Lord be always with you.
Lord, with the mercy on our offerings, may we who share the holy gift receive the life they promise. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Thank you, Father, for making us in our wonderful world. And now we give you thanks, because for our sins he was lifted high upon the cross, and he might draw the whole world to himself, and by his suffering and death become the source of eternal salvation for all who put their trust in him. And so with the angels and everyone in heaven, together we sing. Great and wonderful Father, we remember when Jesus had supper with his friends the night before he died. He took the bread, he thanked you, broke it and gave it to his friends, saying, Take this and eat it. This is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends and said, all of you drink from this cup, because this is my blood, the new promise of God's love. Do this every time you drink it to remember me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. So loving Father, remembering how dearly Jesus loves us, we should love him too. Send your Holy Spirit, gentle as a dove, on us and on these gifts, so with everyone who eats and drinks this bread and wine, the body and blood of Jesus, we may be full of your life and goodness. Help us to walk hand in hand with Jesus and live our lives for him. All honour and glory belong to you, Father, through Jesus your Son, with the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So let us pray. God of mercy, may the sacrament of salvation, which now renews our strength, bring us a share in your life forever. 
This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Be good to join with you again today and uh, I look forward to being with you for the rest of this Holy Week. It's important that we spend as much time as we can in our Lord's company on this final journey that he makes. So we're properly prepared to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ on Saturday night. So Christ crucified draw you to himself to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope and the assurance of sins forgiven and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love, seen and unseen, this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. <laughs>